I had no doubt in my assessment of you. As one worthy of the monumental task which lies before us, Crusader. My name is Dunmire, and I am an exactor of the Dark Crusaders, the holy order of which you are now an honored member. The Church of Orion Radiance has assigned to me the duty of purging Mornstead of its Rogar blight, and ensuring the ancient tyrant Adir knows no liberation from his enduring imprisonment. While the schism between the Church and Judge Cleric is of long standing, she and her hallowed sentinels, now perverted, did at least construct Mornstead's radiant beacons, which have prevented Adir's return for centuries. But now, you stand corrupted and on the verge of collapse. It is to these five beacons you must turn your eye. Use the Umbral Lamp to cleanse them of Adir's destructive influence, and deliver salvation to a world on the brink of perdition. Rogar and Hallowed Sentinel alike will offer you no quarter, so remember, though Aureus' mercy is without limit, yours should not be. You serve a higher purpose, Crusader. To strive in darkness, in light we walk. By Aureus' divine will, I live again. It's a miracle. And to think I raised my sword to you. When all along, you were a divine instrument sent by him to deliver my death and rebirth and bring clarity. Forgive me, Lampbearer. I'm Pieta of the Hallowed Sentinels. And as Aureus sustains me, so too will I sustain you. Whether by making manifest your potential or through my healing blood contained within the Sanguinarics you carry. Should you find any saintly quintessences, bring them to me, and they can bolster the power of my blood further still. The beacons must be cleansed, the hallowed sentinels restored, and Adir's malignancy eradicated. Through whatever is to come, fellow chosen of Aureus, we stand together in service of him. Our holy work continues, Lampbearer. Fellow sanctified vessel, may Aureus' divine radiance flow through me and into you. So the Exactors found himself a new instrument, as Exactors are wont to do. And given that lamp was intended for me, should his paladin fall, and yet now here you are, lamp bearer. Well, it seems I was right to doubt the value of a dark crusader's work. I'm Stoneman, captain of the Fidelis. A group of good men and women who've made a stand against the madness which has possessed the rest of the hallowed sentinels. We made a vow to restore our order to its former glory, whatever the cost to ourselves. And by Judge Cleric's grace, we'll honor that vow. That heretical umbral lamp and the Dark Crusaders are necessary evils in these dire times. As are you, it would seem. Perhaps our aims will align further. Or perhaps not. In Radiance, Judgment! Our Immaculate Lady will bring redemption. Look at you, a Dark Crusader, a lamp bearer, and a revenant to boot. Aren't you the multifaceted one? Well, we Fidelis aren't as fortunate. We tend to stay dead when we die. 
And Aureus knows enough of us have done just that. Anyway, like Nathaniel says, you keep looking back, you don't see the blade coming at your front. We set ourselves a task and we have to finish it. Best watch a step out there. Mornstead is a land awash in blood, both deserved and undeserved alike. That lamp you've got there is heresy, stranger. But then, seems it's getting harder to tell what is and what ain't nowadays. Ah, <laughs> oh, strange times. But in the end, there's right and there's wrong. And that never changes. And I hope for both our sakes you know the difference. But if in doubt, you heed the captain. He's never steered me wrong, much as he might think otherwise. But if in doubt, you heed the captain, much as he might think otherwise. themselves known. Only then can the remaining carrion of creation finally return to the void. of immortality, and a genuine article, not a useless empty vessel like the one I saw that witless fool bumbling around with. I've learned a little since coming to Mornstead about that lamp and the awful mission to which it's attached. I hope you recognize that frightful burden for what it is. In truth, what's been done to you is downright cruel. Of course, some people are born into roles of tremendous responsibility. My name is Andreas of Ebb, esteemed scion of nobility, but far more than that, descendant of the great ruler Antanas himself, as proven by my family's book of lineage, for one. That's right. Through my veins flows the blood of the legendary hero who defied Adir and the Rogar and saved the whole world, only to be betrayed and murdered by a common criminal. So you'll understand a man of my pedigree cannot simply stand idle while an unfortunate victim such as yourself remains shackled to such a grim fate. Give me the lamp, hmm? and let me shoulder your burden, friend. 
What say you? No? It saddens me to see you bring such agony down upon your own head. I hope you see sense and reconsider. Careful! If you're headed for Pilgrim's Perch, friend, uh, the hallowed sentinels don't welcome everyone. Not even a faithful pilgrim who's crossed countless miles of land and sea to join them. All I wanted was to serve the divine judge cleric, but they deemed me unworthy and chased me off. What's a poor, rejected disciple to do now, I ask you? I gave away most of what little I owned before I left Perdam. But uh, if you've got some traveling of your own to do, then here, take this. I know it doesn't look like much, but it's been a dependable companion to me.
hallowed sentinels. Most blessed representatives of the Holy Judge Cleric. My soul soars to see Hold your tongue, pilgrim. And on your feet. You are on sacred ground. And we are yet to see whether you are deserving of that honor. I assure you. I have dedicated my life to the teachings of Judge Cleric. My faith in her and her divine works is boundless. Pray it is, for our Immaculate Lady's light will lay bare the truth. And in radiance, there is judgment.
Divine dear, witness this offering I make to you.
while the beacon should remain your most pressing task, I would have you perform another for me concurrently. Seek out and return to me the items which stand as proof of the hallowed sentinel's heretical deviations and practices. For only in the study of such can we hope to turn them towards the true light of Aureus. This land is overflowing with sin, so I expect this undertaking to offer you little difficulty. Also, say nothing of this to Pieta or the Fidelis Captain. They are already conflicted. Troubling them further only endangers them and our mission.